Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be taking a look at the Crate Club General. Crate Club General is a quarterly delivery of tactical survival camping goodies and it's a big box of stuff. Let's see if we can even successfully do this from the overhead camera. Okay, I'll just slide this out of the way. First in is the pamphlet. Gives you a little rundown of what each item is. Um, they do not give you an idea of the cost. <coughs> Excuse me. But let's just start with item number one. Where are you? It is the Tactica M.020 Camping Tool. Let's see. My hair hacking dish. Show you what's on the uh, box while I read this. Uh, 420 stainless as a uh, ferrule uh, striking uh, rod, bottle opener, those are important. Uh, a rope cutter, metric ruler, flat screwdriver, can opener, tent, peg puller, pry bar, inch ruler, rope tensioner, and a sundial. what she looks like right there so you can uh, pull the ferrule rod out get, you get kind of like the holder and the ferrule rod all in one and then you have all sorts of flat surfaces here that you can uh, strike that on I do like the uh, well you got the cutter on this side and then this side you could use with your fingers to pull up tent spikes that's it's actually something that sounds like a pretty darn good idea and then you when you're done you can just return it like that could could in theory have this on a uh, on a keychain kind of a bulky keychain though the M020 camping card multi tool oh, here. Here. gonna run out of space here in a second it looks like uh, next is the pale blue. Woo. Whoa, and the lights come on. Home conversion kit. Ready to eliminate alkaline waste once and for all. This kit is a giant leap forward. Packed full of micro USB rechargeable batteries you need. Just plug any micro USB cable or use the included cables to charge four batteries at once. So you got uh, one here with two, one with four, another, another linked setup. So you can do four at a time. The directions. You get four D batteries. Here, these would probably be the easiest to see what that charging port location looks like, at least on this. Oh, look at there. Just hidden right inside the battery itself for the charging port. At least that's at least that's how it is on the D's. It's, it's like if Mr. Twenty Seven is out there. I know how much he likes the the D's. This one's uh, on the uh, nine volt. Well, that sucks. I just ran out and bought nine volt batteries. Looks like that. Looks like that can be uh, charged with uh, either one. Ports on the bottom. Ports on the side of the double A's, and I'm assuming on the side for the triple A's. Yes, it's on the side for the triple A's. So that's pretty. That's, that's pretty cool. Eight, uh, twelve, two, and two. The only thing it doesn't have in here is a. Uh, C batteries, which I think I actually have something that uses C batteries. Go figure. Okay, next, and this. <laughs> I own one of these. 
they are awesome. It is the M3 Tactical M3 Force Recon. Here, why look at a box and you can look at the knife while I while I read. Hunt uh, Thorhill designed this blade to be a very solid performer in the self-defense scenario with an overall length of 7.875 and, and finished in their force recon murdered out black. This full tang uh, blade sports a CPM D2 steel ground to razor sharp. I can tell you that's the case. The black removable uh, G10 scales paired with the uh, the finger ring make the uh, M3 Force Recon for thrusting and slashing. And uh, it just happens to be my neck knife that I'm wearing right now. Uh, it's one of my uh, personal favorites. Holds an edge uh, great. I think it's just a just a badass looking knife. And they are definitely sharp. The next item up is the Stealth Cam Wild View Relay Cellular Trail Cam. I thought this was going to be exactly something that I wanted, but it turns out that they are, they are uh, carrier uh, specific, and I am not on Verizon. Basically, it's everything that your normal uh, trail can cam is, except for this guy uh, is would be uh, linked to a cellular uh, a cellular account, and in the event that uh, a critter or a deer or you know whatever it is that you would be using your trail cam for. Um, I personally uh, use them for security and that's why I thought this would be uh, really badass for that uh, unlike the ones that I have now inside is just the battery compartment and the SD card slot otherwise everything that you would do with this you would do via the app and cellular uh, you can uh, like say you are using this as a uh, a security aid and you have it uh, on a telephone pole out by your garage or wherever you want to and something uh, walks in front of it it would then uh, send you uh, that image uh, back uh, to your to the app on your phone and it would notify you of such and I think that is uh, that is really cool like I said unfortunately I am I am not on uh, I am not on Verizon, or I may already be able to tell you uh, what I think about it. Uh, I, I have looked these up in the past. Uh, this particular uh, model uh, does get some uh, pretty pretty darn good reviews, and uh, in its price point is uh, one of the the primary things that uh, that I noticed that people reviewing them uh, liked about it. I just wish it would have been on my network. Uh, next, so we start to really run out of room here, move this again. We have the Cyclops 10 watt spotlight. A little, picture wise, a little reminiscent of uh, one that I'd love to be able to get my hands on and that's one of the the ones from uh, the TV series uh, X-Files uh, in the box get the flashlight, a means of charging it in a uh, automobile, uh, then a standard USB 
and they do provide the uh, wall the wall adapter so that no matter what way you're going if you're going to use uh, something you already have or maybe a computer terminal uh, or the wall or the vehicle charging port right there and then it has two different light settings high and low um, I want to say uh, 850 lumens for high 280 lumens for uh, low um, has a uh, burn time of an hour on high and three hours on low which is pretty pretty uh, pretty decent um, of course I can't help but I looked you got your electronics and your uh, the battery pack uh, down inside there heck they had room for more they could have made this a burn time of a couple of days and then it has a uh, the foot on it which again could be used for carrying it a different way using it as a stand if you're uh, like say changing a tire on a vehicle or whatever and you need to have it propped up at the right angle that is the Cyclops 10 watt spotlight and then it gets us down to our very last item which is just the biggest biggest item in the box this is the uh, right line hitch rack dry bags adjustable storage I would I would take this out to show you but uh, it's it really doesn't do any good because they are gigantic this is a full-size uh, full-size Ford and you can see the two bags uh, packed and strapped in the back of that truck or filled and then put on a, uh, a hitch rack 30 wide by 20 and 55 high so there there's two of them in here and they also have uh, the straps and uh, four straps included in there. So if you're looking for some way to uh, keep things dry, either in the back of an open truck or uh, on a hitch rack, the uh, the right line gear. What do they say about it? I'm just I'm just improving that right there. Did it sound good? Uh, let's see, unlike uh, rigid rectangular hitch bags that can't hold large odd shaped gear yep, because uh, this quickly creates a waterproof seal when you secure the bag's quick release buckle. Each bag is constructed of uh, cut, tear, and abrasion resistant parashield material. With tape sealed uh, seams, uh, keep your gear secure, clean, and 100% dry. Heavy duty straps secure the bags in place after use. The bags fold down into a small, uh, the small sack. Well, I guess I can show you how that looks because it also depends on how good you, good you are at packing stuff like this back into a bag. Ever notice how most things come out and don't go back in? Mm hmm. So. That's what I ended up with after taking them out and, and giving them a, giving them a try. They're definitely big bags. The straps and the two bag, the two bags. And that is uh, October, October's Crate Club Supply Drop. Uh, if you want more information that's on this card, uh, just stay tuned for the uh, little uh, montage of the items here at the end. And as always, I appreciate you guys checking out uh, my videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're interested in giving uh, Crate Club a try, I will have all of their information down below. Uh, I've been with them for a little while now, and they have been absolutely uh, fantastic to work with. So, if you're interested in giving them a try, give them a try. Otherwise, I will see you on the next supply drop. Cheers.
Thank you.